Hey everybody, welcome back to IP Farms. Uh, today's agenda is going to be trying to get these wheels cleaned up. See if I can get them close enough to get some paint on it to where it won't puncture a tube. They're a little more rusty than I thought, or worse for wear. Close up. See the layers of the rust in there. But we're going to see what we can do. I'm not going to make any promises. This is a solid cast wheel. I had to guess I'd say somewhere between 50 and 60 pounds. I guess it just added weight for the plow. It'd be nice if I could have them sandblasted, but that's not in the budget right now. So I think with enough time and grinders and wire brushes and whatnot, we can get, get it slick enough for what it needs to be. If not, I may have to back up and go a different route, but we're going to give it the best shot. I'll bring you along for a little bit of the work. Stay tuned. Okay, well that went better than expected for the first trial anyway. Uh, the woven wire brush got a lot of it off. Uh, there's some places in it, they're severely pitted, but that doesn't present a problem with a tube style tire as long as you don't have any sharp corners or edges or anything like that. So um, as long as it's smooth, that's the main thing. Just always want to be careful when you're working with wire brush and a grinder to keep a good handhold on the grinder because they sure can get away from me quick but it didn't do too bad i think now i'm going to transfer over to the grinding wheel and hit the high spots of some of the some of the heavier rust that's still flaked on there it definitely looks a lot better than it did to begin with all right well, let's try the grinding wheel and uh, see what happens Okay, well, that worked out better than what I had anticipated. Um, it does have some severe pitting in the wheel. I don't know if the camera is going to show that or not. But like I said, the main thing is just to make sure that there's a smooth surface. There's no little flakes of rust or sharp points or whatever for the tube to uh, get cut on. I've uh, done this a hundred times. Put a good coat of paint on it. It'll fill in some of the blemishes. Um, definitely turned out better than what I had thought so like I said a sandblaster would have been nice but it's taken me about mm, 30 minutes to do this one maybe 30 45 minutes I just kind of hit the inside not real sure what color I'm going to paint them if I'm going to do red or silver or whatever my main concern is just to get a coat of paint on the inside so to stop the rust and uh, give the tube a little bit slicker surface to ride on since there's no power to these wheels or anything, there's not really a chance of the tire slipping and cutting the tube, so I think we'll be fine. Other than the uh, honey locust thorns, if there's any of those left, I fought that all at the beginning of 2020. I probably put in 10 or 15 tubes in different tires. But I just thought I'd bring it back, let you see what one looked like, and we'll try to get the other one cleaned up. Uh, if I get a chance, I'll. Uh, get a light coat of paint on for tonight and I'll show you the end result of that. Be back shortly. Okay everybody, this will be it for tonight for this video. Just want to give you a look of how the wheel turned out. I didn't get a chance to get the second one completely finished up. It's going to require just a little bit more brow sweat to get it cleaned up. But I wanted to get a coat of paint on this one tonight so that it'll be dry and ready to mount the tire Saturday. Turned out pretty good. I decided to go with red. Um, didn't have enough of one color, but 
put a coat of black on the inside. So I'm pretty pleased with it for an old antique plow anyway. But just wanted to show you what a little bit of uh, hard work can uh, bring about. It's been nice to be able to take them to have them sandblasted or you know something like that, but it didn't work out. I don't even know the plow would be worth that, but for my purposes, it gives me something to do and I enjoy it. So this will wrap it up for tonight. Um, did want to throw in there. Some of you may be questioning why I'm worrying about putting tires and wheels on the plow before I do all the major fabrication. That's mainly due to the fact that it's very heavy and I was unable to get it in my shop dragging the ground with the flat tires and such. So I figured I might as well just go ahead and throw the tires on that I had and get it where it'll roll and hopefully be able to get it inside the shop where we can start fabrication on the hydraulic conversion. Thank you all for watching. If you like what you see, consider subscribing. Maybe a thumbs up, thumbs down if you don't. I understand. Really appreciate everything. Till next time. Thank you.